The Assembly of First Nations has elected a new national chief. We would like to welcome new national chief, Cindy Woodhouse. I solemnly promise and sincerely pledge to fulfill these duties as they are outlined in our charter to the best of my abilities.
thank you for, I want to thank the Algonquin Territory on whose lands we are on. I want to thank each of you for um, being here today. To our First Nations people, miigwech, miigwech, miigwech. Uh, first, I also want to thank the, the chiefs of this country for your confidence in me. I'll be there every day to make sure uh, to walk with you and to, to assist you in your issues, whether they're big or whether they're small, that, uh, that your community matters, that First Nations matter, that First Nations, the people, uh, First Nations people matter. My first job um, is to bring unity to the Assembly of First Nations and First Nations from coast to coast to coast. We have to be unified. I want to um, thank um, David Pratt for walking into the Assembly with me uh, this morning as a show of support and unity, as well as Interim National Chief Joanna Bernard. It's so important that we unite more than ever. We're facing many crises in this country and our people are facing the highest poverty levels in this country, yet we're the, fa the fastest growing uh, demographic. And so we have a lot of work to do and, and I just, you know, I, I look to the Assembly of First Nations as um, a strong, that needs to be a strong voice to amplify the voices of First Nations once again and to make sure that we're not left out of tables and that um, the provinces, the territories, the federal and provincial governments that you make space for our people at the table. The top-down approach from, from governments in this country needs to stop and if we're going to truly work towards reconciliation, we need to be um, united, we need to we need to make sure that we're working together for progress and for closing gaps. We also, I know that there's been commitments to close um, the gap to 2030 on infrastructure and housing. Uh, that's my first order of business today is to make sure that we get resources out to our communities. Uh, I, my grandfather, Chief Richard Woodhouse, signed Treaty Number no. 2 in 1871. I know that earlier today I had the original Treaty Medal and. That's always where we come from. We have inherent rights in this country and this entire land is Indian land. All of Canada is Indian land and at the same time they have to realize that they have inherent treaty partners here, inherent partners here from coast to coast to coast and we need to work together for uh, better outcomes for all of us. And when First Nations win, everybody wins. In this moment, I'm coming in here um, as a fresh start to try and say let's work through some of these issues together and I hope that the governments are there, the federal governments and I hope that Canadians are there to help us as well, to be supportive and to be allies to our people because you know, we, we're on a long road uh, of a relationship building and we're talking about, we're just starting to talk about reconciliation, we haven't talked about it before, this is a new word from a few years ago. So if we're really going to work on reconciliation, let's start and let's work through these things together. Hi, Chief um, Woodhouse. My name is Joyce Spear, Chief Morris. I'm with the Toronto Star. There is a lot of discussion um, in the past couple of days, especially with candidates as they conceded and the talk about unity and the need to be unified within the AFN. You know, we all know the AFN has had a lot of divisiveness in the past couple of years, and that divisiveness is showing within Indigenous politics across the country with different issues and different bills and politics going on. Just wondering what your plan is to actually address those issues and how you plan on actually tackling um, unity proactively within the AFN? I think if we, if we work on the issues together, we shouldn't have time to bicker. There's too many people suffering out there. There's people on the streets, there's people with uh, First Nations that uh, have many issues. And I th if, we, if we focus on our people, and especially, you know, I, I, I ran on a children's agenda on young children. I look at uh, all of our children and our grandchildren. They need to have a, we're, I'm the first, you know, I, I went to day school the, the kids after many of us in this room, that they're the first ones to go to a, to go to school w without being in a residential school or day school just, just now. That's the first generation after, after me. I'm 40 years old. So we have a young growing population. They're going to be stronger than us, but they expect us right now to, to get to work and to be at work every single day and to work together and to try and get results. And and um, make this country more equitable for them. And we're not asking for anything more than what Canadians want, but we do want equality. We do want um, access to clean drinking water, a safe home, security in our homes, uh, good jobs, businesses. We want all those things. We want, we want good lives for our children, good, happy, healthy lives for our children and for our families.
know that we've just come through this dark, dark period where we still we we'll, we st we are still seeing the um, that cloud that's still there. And I know that by ceremony, by prayers, by working together, by trying to find a new way, uh, I think that we can overcome some of those challenges. And do things need to be changed at the Assembly of First Nations? Absolutely. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's a perfect organization. We have. Uh, we, we, we've come a long way. I, you know, I talked to former National Chief um, Phil Fontaine last week and, you know, a few weeks ago, and I said, have we seen progress? And he says, oh, absolutely. And he was National Chief for a long time. And then I see, you know, we, we have everybody brings something to the, to the national office, and, and um, some of it's good, and some of it may, maybe we have to relook at that. 